Yeah, it's a, um, it's a cool property. Uh, originally, it was used as a dance hall um, a long, long time ago. And then there was a conversion done. So it was uh, 13 units, but didn't have a 13 unit. So it would go uh, um, 11, 12, 14. So that was through everybody for a curveball on that one. But it was a great opportunity to sell um, just a pure um, converted uh, residential multifamily property that's on waterfront. Uh, we could literally fish off the balconies of the property that the units that are over the water and part of the um, building was actually built into the water engineered to be kind of in the lake so that always um, you know got us a few questions as well as far as uh, the engineering on the building yes it was designed to be in there great for the tenants to have the recreational opportunities to use big lake it also came with three fully serviced RV sites that were are leased out with a fourth one that could be serviced. We um, we actually developed one of those midway through and added the site, um, you know, hooked the site up so we could get it uh, occupied and income coming in. So it was a great uh, income producing property. And those are some past clients that owned another multifamily investment property that I sold for them in Mount Vernon. And they ended up doing a uh, reverse 1031 exchange on that property and got a chance to help them uh, do that and help them reinvest into uh, another location. Well, in this case, they really um, went out and found the property that they wanted to buy <laughs> before they had their property sold. Um, and it was uh, exactly what they've been looking for. So rather than sort of waiting for their their property to sell and then 1031 into something they decided to um do a reverse 1031 exchange so we were able to uh to help them uh complete that for this one um you know luckily we had a great property manager in place long-term relationship with them so we have multiple years of uh, profit and loss statements we had all of the leases in place everything was um, readily accessible um, due to the fact that they had a professionally managed. So we were able to help, you know, the interested parties that came along, review the information about the property. Uh, I also had the financials provided to me up front. So when I complete the listing input data sheet, I can get as accurate of uh, monthly income and net operating income and uh, expenses that were available at the time so that I could provide them to, you know, the other brokers and, and then out to their clients. The sign was was something that we, we, we sort of really didn't want to disturb the tenants. We didn't really want to, I mean, yeah, they know that the property's on the market, but rather than having people pull over, drive down their driveway and snoop around and look at the property because they think it's, oh, it's an apartment building, we can just get in there and take a peek. So that was one thing we just didn't want to have too much traffic on the site. So that was the sort of the reason behind the sign. The second reason behind the key box was that schedule a showing through the property management office, we would post notice, then uh, since I accompanied all the showings for this particular listing, I would then go and check out the key. Mm -hmm. And then I would return the key to the, the property management office. And the, they, they just like to control right. access to the building for security and for, you know, their purposes. So we facilitated the transaction that way. Yeah, rather than just having a key box and then having, um, you know, miscommunication or if, if there was a point. And then this also overlapped into COVID. So mm -hmm. I had also um, to take that in consideration yeah. with exposure. And I have, in some cases, some elderly tenants in there with some health conditions. So I wanted to be extra cautious about, you know, kind of access to the building and, and taking certain extra steps. 